Very good day to you people. My name is Mohitin Gash. Today I want to show you how to make a picture gallery using the UI loader. Let me first give you a published preview guys and then we'll talk about it. So a control enter on my keyboard guys. Here goes. Control enter. And guys this is the very first picture. Okay. Let me first simulate the download and then I'll uh, continue. So I'm going to say simulate download. I need to wait a while. Okay. Now I had to simulate the download because every picture out here has its own its own preloader guys and you can see the preloader running also you know down below you could see the percentage loaded let me click on uh, the second picture and you can see the preloader running from left to the right guys right let me try uh, the third picture and I get a percentage sign out here and I get the preloader as well which disappear later on and this is the third picture the third icon guys all the three pictures are 256 by 256 they're actually icons adobe icons guys very cool very nice right so guys if you have a look at the timeline <coughs> sorry i have uh, two layers the top layer has been called um, as3 for action script 3 and the bottom layer is the content layer where i have the ui loader i have the progress bar or the pre-loader I have the text box and I have these three buttons right so what I'm gonna do is guys I'm gonna destroy the content layer completely and I'm gonna rebuild on it also guys I'm gonna go to the library I'm gonna you know choose everything out there I'm gonna destroy it all right and uh, I'm not going to destroy the actions panel guys I'm gonna keep it as it is and once I'm done I'm gonna explain it to you okay so next guys quickly I'm gonna pull out some components I'll go to the components uh, through window and then uh, the first component that I'm gonna pull out is the UI loader component okay I'm gonna pull out three buttons that's the one and a two and a three and I'm gonna pull out the progress bar component here I'm done as far as the components are concerned let me close the components panel okay the first thing that I would do is I would choose the UI loader and I would change the size to 256 width and height okay and then I'm gonna place the UI loader bang in the center of the stage guys I'm gonna choose the align tool and I'm gonna say um, align horizontal center I'm sorry and uh, that's it okay it's done and then let me choose the three buttons go back to the align tool right to okay and so also I'm gonna space them evenly vertically I beg your pardon and there it is yep that's done let me also align the preloader where I would want it there sh yeah that 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 is good okay let me select the preloader as well as the preloader as well as the URL component just shift them a little bit upwards because I need to place the uh, a textbook box out here okay somewhere out here right let me just shift this a little bit little uh, bit down below here okay then uh, guys let me go on giving the uh, instance name so you are I'm gonna call it you are loader you are loader okay the preloader the progress bar I'm gonna call it PL PL for preloader okay also guys out here I'm gonna link this preloader to the UI loader then they get linked I don't need any action script uh, to do that all I need to do is I just need to say source is UI loader out here so that's UI loader and hence the progress uh, percentage uh, gets directly linked to the preloader and there is no action script that I need to write for that that's that's cool it's very very cool all right and uh, out here for the text field I'm gonna make sure that uh, it's set to anti-alias for animation the behavior is single line that the alignment is center it's not selectable okay the color is white which it is uh, the point size I'm gonna go with 22 I'm gonna embed the font okay I'm gonna say embed just the numerals and the percentage sign that's all that I need to show I'm gonna say okay and let me change the labels so that's uh, pick one this will become pick two 
right enter and uh, the label for the third one is pick three let me also give give these buttons instance names so i'm going to call them btn1 2 and 3 btn2 and that's a btn3 btn3 all right so guys uh ui loader let me tell you what ui loader is ui loader is a component that can help us fetch external pictures okay right inside flash if i select this ui loader component out here and in the source i give the name of the picture that picture may be lying on the desktop or maybe lying on a you know a, a folder somewhere on your hard disk it'll pull it up it'll fetch it and uh, feed it inside the ui loader guys that's that's uh, something really cool about the ui loader all right but i'm not going to put the i'm not going to use the source uh, component uh, parameter out here i'm going to give the source but i'm going to give it through the action script guys so in short ui loader is used to fetch external uh, assets external pictures okay and we'll soon see all right okay guys by mistake what happened here was i placed all the content on the as3 layer but that's not a good habit uh, ideally you shouldn't do that let me separate the two let me uh, you know cut the ac the action script from the actions panel cut it completely and then let me rename it let me call it content right let me uh, create one more layer guys let me rename it as3 and then let me place all the action out there that was a paste out there so I'm gonna paste the action out there I should be fine now yep I've separated the two let me test to see if everything is fine okay it says that it does not recognize uh, status in the code txt the instance name for this text box I wanted it to be status underscore txt so that's status underscore txt alright let me test and guys let me take a simulation as well so simulate the download should come up any moment all right and guys as you can see the preloader is running from left to right in fact the preloader is so thin and so short I can hardly see it let me change the preloader size so I'm gonna increase the width and the height let me take it a little make it a little longer okay let me put it back out here cool uh, also I think it'll help if I increase if I make the stage completely completely black and then you can probably see the preloader much better let me hit control enter this time let me say simulate download okay wait for a while mm, it should come up any moment now here it goes guys so, so there we are the preloader running from left to right here we get the percentage sign and there comes the first picture I'm gonna click the second picture guys wait for the preloader and to finish and uh, the second picture should come up any moment similarly the third picture also comes up here we see the percentage coming up alright guys very very cool very nice <coughs> okay but I'm not really happy with the color of the preloader I'm gonna go inside I'm gonna double click go inside and as far as the bar skin is concerned I'm gonna double click on that as well okay as far as this uh, blue colored uh, skin is concerned let me zoom on it first let me say a 400 percent all right and if I click on it guys uh, let me say a break apart okay if I say a break apart guys you can see that it has a bluish linear gradient right let me click on that can I change the linear gradient yeah I change the linear gradient to something like a red color and as far as the outline is concerned um, let me let me leave it as it is let me go back and let's see what difference has it actually made to the preloader let me say control enter once again let me say simulate download mm. should come up any moment now alright <laughs> there we have the uh, red colored uh, preloader awesome okay I think I would want to change something else let me go inside it uh, and guys then I'm gonna change this color 
I'm gonna double click out here as well. Then I'm gonna choose the individual stripes. I'm gonna change them to a pound sign, double lines, double zero, double zero. Let me change all these stripes then. Mm. All right, cool. Let me go back. Mm. Back to the main timeline, guys. Let me hit Control Enter once again to simulate. Wait for a while. <coughs> all right, that actually didn't make any difference at all. But the the first time that I, when I changed uh, the the skin, that actually made a difference. And I like that red color. I'm gonna stick to that, guys. Cool. All right. So uh, now is the time to understand the action script that I've written. Okay. So let me open up the actions panel guys. Now the first thing that I've done is the first picture, the picture that comes up up front uh, is happening through line number two where it says the UI loader dot source. Now the dot source uh, through the dot source uh, property I can pinpoint which picture I would want to load. Now this picture pick one dot jpg is actually lying on the desktop uh, in this folder called new folder and it's out here guys this is the one okay this is picture number two and this is picture number three dot png right so it's it's picking up an external asset and it's picking it up through the action script using the dot source um, property guys so the ui loader dot source so pick one that's the picture that uh, you know shows up up front and then guys what i've done is i've used the btn1 btn2 and btn3 uh, buttons and added event listeners to them of the type mouse events which are you know which are actually mouse events of the type click okay so every time somebody clicks on btn1 2 or 3 uh, a function called click handler is executed and this uh, function click handler let's see what it does the first thing that it does is it makes sure that the PL the visibility of the PL is set to true now the PL is nothing but the preloader so it makes it'll make sure that uh, your preloader is actually visible whenever somebody clicks on any of the three buttons guys then guys line through lines 10 11 and 12 it checks if the current target is button one two or three okay if event dot current target basically what it means is the button in question uh, the button in focus right now is it uh, btn1 is it btn2 or is it btn3 if it is btn1 then uh, change the source of the ui loader to picture one if it is two then change the source to pick two now pick one pick two and pick three were lying externally in a folder called new folder on the desktop guys if you remember okay so basically ui loader helps you get external assets uh, and if it's btn3 then what you need to do is you need to pick picture 3 uh, from uh, the desktop uh, new folder and show it up in the UI loader cool and guys here I've added uh, an event listener uh, to the UI loader which is of the type progress so that's a progress event guys of the type progress and um, as long as the loading of the picture in the UI loader is in progress a function called progress handler is supposed to be executed and let's see what that uh, function progress handler does what it does is it actually makes the text inside status underscore txt now status underscore txt was the text field guys the text box uh, and I made it equal to the percentage loaded of the UI loader now this percent loaded is a um, <coughs> property that can be attached to the UI loader guys and through the int method int will give you an integer that will make sure that you don't get a fraction guys through int integer only a whole number okay plus here I've added this uh, percentage sign guys so you see something like a 45 percent 95 percent loaded whatever right and here guys I've added yet another event listener to the UI loader the UI loader is the is the component that helps to load external assets okay but this time the event is of the type complete and uh, once the event is complete guys basically when the the loading is done when the loading uh, uh, is complete the picture shows up I'm running uh, a function called uh, complete handler 
and what the, the, the function complete handler does is the status underscore txt was the text field guys the through the text property I'm making the text inside null empty curly uh, inverted codes guys right and I'm also making the PL invisible PL dot visible is equal to false will make the uh, preloader the progress bar go invisible out here I'm making it invis invisible guys out here I'm making it visible okay so basically depending on which button you press btn 1 2 or 3 I'm changing the source to pick 1 pick 2 or pick 3 png all these three pictures are lying on the desktop guys and I've attached two event listeners to the UI loader um, one is a progress event the other one is a complete event they respectively run the progress handler and the complete handler guys and uh, they uh, through the progress handler I'm showing up the percentage loaded and through the complete handler guys I'm making the text visible inside the status underscore txt go invisible I'm also making the preloader go invisible once the picture shows up I don't need the the message inside the text box neither do I need the uh, PL which is the preloader okay guys so let me test again a control under the keyboard to test and uh, there you are you can hardly see the preloader guys because it's loading from the hard disk right now so a control enter to get the simulation guys and uh, should come up any moment so there it goes left to right 40 percent 50 percent 60 70 80 and that's 100 cool very very nice but guys there's one thing very very important if you don't do that you'll get an error now let me show it to you before you actually publish the project you need to say a file you need to go to publish settings guys and then you need to show which folder all the three pictures are lying in all right so out here um, I'm telling that it's lying on my desktop inside a folder called new folder okay so you need to tell it you need to show it the path guys okay once you show it the path then uh, you're good to go all right guys i hope you like this tutorial enjoyed it learned uh, something from it i'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action tutorial you have a good day bye bye peace